Okay, so we are eco shack, eco dot shack, and we are building gravity for environmental friends. So this is our researcher Emma on Birmingham. That's Emily. She's our hacker, our LLM user from Berlin. And Alex, also Emma, our worker So what are we trying to do here? We try to, to help with greenwashing. Really bad words. What is greenwashing? Greenwashing is when you have a false impression, misleading impression on the sustainability potential of your products. Here is some insider remarks. We're making earth friendly choices. Kids may use 50% recycled materials. Is a sustainability problem. Now, where is the problem? The problem is in the next slide. Companies are desperate to do the right thing. Like, a big fear of emotion. These are some quotes from other guys. It's really hard to present our initiative as honest and not brutal. Like, some people are doing the right things, but it's really hard. And, there is lots of them. There's a $10 billion market in digital ads that has environmental claims. So, these are all your traffic claims that are afraid of brutal. And now it's the right moment. FTC have green guides that are currently in force on how you should speak about the sustainability effort. And in other markets, like in France, you can be sued today 100,000 euros if you use the word carbon neutral in your ads. That's being enforced from January 1st. So this is real, it's happening. Advertisers are not compliant, they're really afraid. And so comes EQ check. EcoCheck is a B2B greenwashing checker tool. So it's probably it's a checker tool, B2B, powered by LM. And what we do is we evaluate environmental claims against guidelines. That's it, you know. How it works is that we take a bunch of uh, FTC regulation, we take all the information about the company, we feed it into LM. And this LM becomes your own greenwashing program, becomes your own EcoCheck. And if you give us a claim, and we can tell you, actually, the LLM will tell you how to prove the claim, what you can say, what you can say. That's what we're trying to do. Now, we're going to show you some cool demos, which tell us to come. Round of applause for Doug. And so, let's do a walkthrough of EcoTrack together. Um, this is what the interface would look like. Let's say you have some content with environmental claims and things in them, and you want to evaluate them across um, the different existing regulations and guidelines. Um, and on the right, this is where you want to put in your location because the regulations might be different depending on the region. And you can also specify which bodies of guides and regulations you want to evaluate yourself against. Um, if you're interested in knowing what some of the nonprofits are thinking about greenwashing, you can evaluate yourself against to keep ahead of the curve. Um, but for the purpose of this, let's just stick to FTC Green Guidelines. So on the left is where you input your information. So you can actually drop in an image and also get a text and extract um, the text. And you can also input information about your company if you want to um, evaluate uh, in a more accurate way. And once you hit evaluate, it will then highlight phrases within your text that might be flagged for um, not being compliant against the regulations that you are measuring yourself against. So for um, in this instance, there are two that are flagged as being too general. So you need to qualify the general environment to uh, benefit things. And there are two that are flagged um, for being recyclable things that again need to be better qualified. So um, once they're flagged, the user can then read additional information on um, what that means, and it even um, leads you to the actual excerpt from the original uh, guideline sources. And I'll hand it off to Emily to give a quick demo of how it works. So I can give a quick demo about how this works. So we put um, 18 different policies from FTC and Greenpeace, and we basically run our program and it generates a markdown file. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it right here. And 
And there's three menu options. Number one is vector rating. So it's going to rate the advertisements and policies from zero to one. And what we evaluated here is number one, the Jeep advertisement we found on Facebook. And another one is the BFW sustainability website. So um, number one being it's very eco-friendly and as it goes down to zero, it's going to show that it's maybe more close to greenwashing. Um, and I can show you some examples. So one phrase in the advertisement was the most unfriendly vehicle in its class. And it, this goes against policy two, four, and five, and it's saying that you should specify um, more on, be more clear on the exact phrasing. So the example of its output would be the most unfriendly vehicle in its class in terms of greenwash, um, greenhouse gas emissions. Okay, that was it. Uh, if there's any questions, put against the team. We're actually planning to do a product launch because we're really good in the last two days, so we can have another product launch. All of us need to know more. Any questions?